guys, it's your girl Kiki Beauty coming at you with another video. And thanks guys for so much love and so much support that you guys have been showing me so far on my channel. I'm just a new YouTuber trying to grow my channel and just trying to make things happen. So, remember I said that I wanted to do like a lot of different things on my channel. I didn't want to kind of limit it. So today, I'm going to do a mukbang or mukbang or whatever you guys want to call it. So, I have crawfish. Girl, my favorite. And I have um, Cajun with mixed with garlic butter. Yes. I, let's get into this crawfish, honey. Mm -hmm. Do y'all like crawfish? I love Mr. Seafood. I love um, crab legs. Mm -mm -mm. Do um, any of y'all watch um, Be Love? I still haven't tried her sauce. But, um, baby, I love me some crab legs. And she be getting like them big big old king crab legs like she be getting them shipped from um Alaska and stuff to her house so I'm like I know them, them things is the bomb like big jumbo shrimp and big jumbo crab legs and stuff but now I just got regular crawfish honey you know what I forgot I forgot to ask them for some butter sauce oh no no butter sauce um, girl, why this crawfish? I don't even got no bag. They wrong for that. But some people like they eat that crawfish and they like suck the body or suck the head. I don't do all that. I look like the little the little crab legs, the crawfish legs, whatever you want to call it. I eat them sometimes. Get the juice out of them. Or if they got a little meat, I get the meat out of them. Like this one. Ooh, that's spicy. See how his um arm is? Oh yeah, he got some meat on him. So I'm just getting to it. How they be doing on the mug bombs? <laughs> I'm about to be making all this noise, y'all. Well, hold on, why my light went out? So, um, the story time I can tell. Um, me and my friend. Um, the one I said I've been knowing for a long time for basically all my daughter like 12 years because I met her the same semester we both was going to school and then I ended up getting pregnant. Girl, that's a whole nother tea for a whole pregnant nother video. Person. I'll let y'all know about that another time. I'll tell y'all about that another time. So, we became really good friends and you know life happens and you get busy and have kids and going to school or whatever the case may be and you just get grown and just drift apart but you know if you're real friends and then you know what it is and you don't hold no kind of animosity no kind of grudge because shit happens life happens and nothing major happened that you know should tear our friendship apart so you know, you just had that mutual understanding. Girl, you doing your thing. You grown. You living life. And, you know, once we did come back together, it's, okay, girl, let's go get brunch. Let's catch up. So, you know, we started back hanging out. And then we went to this little bar. And we had a good time. So, what I did was, um, man, it sounds so good. Girl, excuse my smacking. I drove my car to her house and I parked my car over there. And I said, okay, we can ride in one car since we're going to the same place. And then sometimes we don't know if that's what we're going to end up with my bar hop. No. So we went to this little bar or whatever. We had a good time. We was on our way back to her house so I can go get my car and go home so I'm not like an alcohol person anybody who knows me baby I'm the weakest link in the group I'ma sit back in the corner observe chill watch everybody else twerk kind of girl 
and I'll be drinking some wine. Like if I do have alcohol, it's probably like one glass. Cause honey, if I take a shot or anything, I'm not gonna throw it when I'm at whatever place that I'm at. But when I get home two, three in the morning, I think about shit like that. I'm like, well, who gonna help me and pull my hair back? Because I know I'm gonna be hanging over that toilet. So y'all can say what y'all want about me, but I just can't drink like that. I'm just not that person. So, anyways, so we was on our way to drop me off back to my car. And we was at the light and we saw like a um it's like a black Toyota um Camry like you know how it's the lights and then you over to make that you um know that left turn like you make that left turn signal and it's like two lights over there and then it's like the medium thing like you know where people can cross or whatever and it's like the medium thing it's a whole pole so I guess she was getting ready to turn left something happened she was like her whole front end was on the pole and it was no police around no other cars around so I was like oh my god like what is going on like we need to stop and help you know we ain't know if it's a him or her or whatever so my friend pulled over whatever she got the car and she was like are you all right are you all right and so I ended up getting out the car and she was like uh call 911 or whatever So I called 911, 911, and then you know they answer the phone. What's your emergency or whatever? My well, girl, why these people are talking about? What's your emergency? Please hold, hold. Please hold. How you gonna put somebody on hold when it's an emergency going on? I'm like, I ain't called 911 in a long time, but I'm like. This is what's going on? Put you on hold. So I'm like, oh my God. So then they transfer my call to somebody else. They weren't even the same person. And they answered, and they asked what's the emergency. So I'm like, okay, yes, there's been an accident. This young lady hit a pole. We don't know if somebody hit her and ran. We don't really know what's going on, but y'all need to send somebody. So the girl get out the car, pretty girl. She looked very young. She probably was like 20, 21. Really young girl. And she wasn't dressed like in any club clothes or anything like that. It seemed like she probably went to somebody's house and got a hold to some pills or something like because her um, speech and stuff was slurred. I'm like, she might be drunk, but it seemed like she took like some pills or something. Um, the first thing she was telling my friend was my baby, my baby, my baby so my friend panicked she like, girl let's look in the car in the back seat because she's talking about a baby in here and I don't see no baby I'm like this girl got on off something so we looking, we looking, we don't see no car seat no, no arm, no leg, no baby, nothing she the only one in that car so I was like this girl on, on some real you know what so then some people was across the street and um they uh, I guess they had saw the whole thing or something they ran across the street and I was like yeah um we saw her when she had a wreck and all this stuff and then the whole time it was like two truck um tow truck drivers just sitting them so we're like why they ain't called the police why was we the ones came late on the scene and we called the police and they be sitting you know what i'm saying they pulled up with them no i think they was there before we even got there like they was like way down the street somewhere but they was like watching or whatever so that was kind of odd. So then the girl, while my friend was talking to the other people that had seen the wreck, apparently. So the, <clears throat> the girl was trying to pull me on the side. I was like, can you help me? Can you drive my car for me? I'm like, girl, I 
I'm not about to be no accessory to nothing that's going on. And the way you looking, you looking like you on some kind of pills, you drunk, or well, something going on. So, baby girl, I'm not about to have no parts of that. So, she was like, uh, she was on the phone, too. She was calling somebody, one of her family members, and trying to get one of them to come up there and get her call. Because she was she was scared and she, you know, figured that she was going to jail. I mean, I don't know about all the rules of the law, but, I mean, I feel, you know, you didn't injure nobody, you didn't hit nobody. You know, you might be held, you know, probably accountable or whatever for drinking and driving. But, let me finish the story. So... She starts, she on the phone with somebody and she sits down in her car or whatever. And then my friend was like, she about to drive out. I was like, girl, the whole front of her car, when I tell you bent, toe up, I was like, this car is total. up. This girl not about to drive nowhere. She was like, I'm telling you, she about to crank up this car and she about to drive. Girl, crank up the car, reverse. I'm talking about front bumper falling off, light fell off, just, <laughs> that's all you hear, like car reversing. So we're looking at the tow truck. People like, what y'all office do? Y'all see this girl about to drive off? Like, y'all not about to do nothing? They was like, well, you know, she got her own free will. We, we can't stop her. We like, what? Clearly, this girl is on some kind of drugs. She's drunk. And y'all just going to let her get away? Y'all just going to let her drive like nothing? So the girl starts speeding down the street. <laughs> My nerves so bad because I'm the I mean it's late at night, it's probably like two, three in the morning. So there's not that many cars on the road. I'm just praying like God, please don't let somebody come down this road and this girl hit them or kill them or injure them or something. So oh my god, my prayers got answered instantly because the police, like our street was right here, and the police was on the other side of the street that was facing us like this. So we flagging them down, like, hey, the girl over here, she just drove off, and so they skirt around and ran her like into this little shopping strip parking lot so they end up getting her i don't know what happened after that but baby i just thank god that she got caught but i'm like you can't you gotta know your limit i just felt like she was on pills or whatever but even if it wasn't pills you drinking and driving you gotta know you know what i'm saying when to quit you could kill somebody or yourself. And then you might not even got in that much trouble because you didn't kill nobody. You didn't hit nobody. You didn't flee the scene. You were sitting right there. So, you know what I'm saying? You might have went to the hospital, got checked out, and you might have been okay. But when you sitting up here and did all this and then fleeing the scene, now you done, th done some whole other criminal cases. Because you fleeing the scene, ain't the police behind you, and you still trying to run. They add all kinds of stuff to you. And the girl was very young and very pretty. Um, I don't know what was going on in that young lady's life. But I pray that she got whatever healing she needs. And that she's okay. But yeah, y'all. I'm starting to get full. I don't think I'm going to finish this crawfish. But yeah, that's probably it for my little mutt bang. I just wanted to come on camera, chit chat a little bit so y'all can get to know me a little bit, my little personality. And I just want to eat these crawfish. But um, if y'all guys think that y'all like the mukbang, mukbang or whatever, let me know and I'll do another one. So like I always say, remember you are beautiful and please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.